Have you ever had full blown COVID, coughing, runny nose, the whole deal, but the people living in your household don't catch it at all? It is a familiar scenario for many, and a research team wants to figure out why. We are seeing um, lots of COVID right now, a surprising amount of COVID for where we are. Data from the CDC shows COVID test positivity rising 7% in early June. And if you happen to catch it over the next few months, researchers want to hear from you. The goal is to understand how viruses are spreading in families. Dr. Helen Chu is an infectious diseases doctor at UW Medicine. She is leading a study exploring how COVID and RSV spread in households and is recruiting families to take part. You are paid $225 per person to participate. But what she hopes will really motivate people to participate is to understand how their significant others or kids or roommates manage to catch COVID from them or not while living under the same roof. Is it the amount of virus? Is it the age of the person? Is it the symptoms that they have? Is it how many vaccine doses they've received? To participate, at least one person in the household needs to have a positive test for RSV or COVID-19 in the five days before enrollment. For a group to qualify, three quarters of a household must join the study. It includes doing 10 days of at-home nasal swabs and recording symptoms followed by surveys. So could be that what we'll see is that actually not there's not that much um, transmission of the virus in the household, not as much as we saw before. Or we could see that there is still transmission, but it's not as many cases or that we see that having um, a more recent vaccine protects you from transmitting to others in your family. So those are the questions we would answer. RSV is also part of the study because, like COVID, vaccines and antibody treatments have recently become available. Dr. Chu wants to know how that's influencing spread. We're really trying to understand what is happening um, as people's immunity evolves over the last several years. UW researchers along with Seattle Children's Hospital are looking for 200 Seattle area households to participate in the study. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pei.